should be live. There we are. Nice. So we'll keep this here. Pop this in. And let's check this out. We can barely see it because it covers it up now. <laughs> Funny. Maybe I should keep the chat. No, we can't keep the chat live there. Let's check it out. There we go. Hi, everyone. This is Chicho. Welcome to another live stream. Today is November 10th, 2019, and it's part four of our discussion regarding Julian Assange. Okay. And um, we've done a fair bit uh, so far, and we're going to do a lot more. Uh, but let me show you what we've done so far as an intro while we wait for uh, people to roll in to this live stream. And uh, maybe we should actually wait until people roll in so we can do a nice little review of what we've done so far. I think that's what we're going to do, actually. We'll hold up. Uh, what you see here is the playlist that I've put together for... Uh, I'm going to turn down the glow on this a little bit. It's going to get darker. But the playlist, we're, we're going to start archiving all of our WikiLeaks and Julian Assange videos. Uh, but we'll talk about it as soon as... Uh, people start rolling in. Let me give you a little intro as to... This is my desktop. Thing. WWG1, WGA, WWG1, WGA, WWG1, WGA. Welcome, welcome to the live stream. Hope you're doing well. Let me show you what I got. Uh, lined up here for us to uh, just a little intake this is going to be heavy stream i think merely human how are you doing hope your day is well hello everyone hello merely human welcome to another live stream corrupt cyanide hello hello how are you doing if you're following the videos we're loading up on bitshoot and youtube i just loaded up the liqueur video that we live streamed in August. I, we loaded up the live stream in August, but my main hard drive for editing had crashed, right? When I was editing the video. So I've just recently got back up on the secondary drive. I edited the liqueur video and we uploaded it today. This is the blackberry liqueur I'm sipping on right now. Okay. If you want to know how this is made, Bitchute or YouTube, you will see what it took to make this, which is almost nothing, right? And the taste is absolutely brilliant. Okay. To Julian, okay? We're gonna do a lot of WikiLeaks and Julian Assange live streams and videos that we're going to be uploading. Okay. It is fantastic. I will definitely send the bottle to Julian when he is free. All right. T. And this is the bottle, by the way. I brought it over to show you guys. This is what the color looks like now. If you see that video, it's dark. Very, very dark. It's brilliant. Okay. So you can tell I've been sampling from this. In the video, you'll see that the liqueur was this high. And I've been sampling this for the last uh, little while, a few weeks few weeks by the way this is Zach Zach how are you doing I had emailed you yeah I remember the other day about Julian and you asked me uh, on one of the videos what's the main search engine I use which is DuckDuckGo I do use Google still as well uh, but DuckDuckGo is my main search engine and of course I'd use searches on whatever sites I go to right right I had emailed you the other day about Julian and my writing here go, keep informed. Nice. Here to keep informed. 
Okay. We're going to delve deep into this, right? So how long has it been? It's about five minutes. Should we start our... Let me do a little intro of what we're doing. Okay. I'm not sure how many people we got online. It's not showing up. But we got the chat going, which we're happy with. Should we do a little refresh? Ah, we don't need to. Okay. So here's a playlist that we put together. Uh, apologies if I might not see the chat right away or whatnot. Have you talked about Hong Kong protests before? Yes, we have. Uh, but it's not something we're going to focus on this stream. What's going on right now with Julian Assange is much grander than what's going on in Hong Kong. What's going on in Hong Kong, if there's multiple tentacles in the, in the game, uh, it affects a certain region, certain players. What's going on with Julian Assange affects everyone around the globe. Okay, um, So we're going to focus on this. You're definitely welcome um, to pop in and we can definitely talk, in, talk about Hong Kong protests and other protests around the world uh, when we do just current events live streams. VYNG. How are you doing? I hope you're here to play nice. V Y N G N X G G. I'm gonna call you G G. Okay. Cause in these Lou Julian Assange live streams, you are nice. I'm being pretty brutal. Instant ban. No no mercy. <laughs> Hello Chicho. Hope your day has been great. It's been good. It's been good. J J Bro Jane, how are you doing? Welcome, welcome. So we put a little playlist together on YouTube. I haven't set up stuff to put playlists together on BitChute yet. We will at some point. But there's seven videos we have up on my YouTube channel. And most of these videos will be up on BitChute as well. I don't know. I don't believe I was on BitChute when we put out the first video, which is the reading of Vault 7, right? So the seven videos we have, this is going to be the eighth one, and we're going to start producing a lot more. Okay, I'm going to go chronologically in order of the videos we have right now, just to give you a lowdown of what we've covered so far if you're new to these streams. Okay. We're just going to keep on building on this. Oh, I have... oh, yeah, this is the stuff. I don't know what that is. Is that a follow? Is that... <laughs> I don't know what it is, <laughs> and I didn't catch it. I'm really slow with these things, <laughs> gang. So thank you for the follows, thank you for the bits, thank you for the subs. My apologies if I'm not catching it. Okay. Iwan Finn, thank you very much for the bits, brother. I actually got uh, accepted to take my next semester of college in England. I'm going to try to get involved in the protest. And it's, oh, dude, if I was there, I would be there. If you know what I mean. If I was there, I'd be there. Right. So the first video we put out, I've written about Julian Assange before on my blog and WikiLeaks and stuff, but we're not going to go back, back that far because this is more video related, right? But if you do a search on my blog, uh, if you do chicho.com, which it takes you to Blogspot, there's articles there that we sort of start covering Julian Assange and WikiLeaks from the back in early, like 2008, 2009, 2007, most likely. Okay, we talked about some of the revelations, right? But for the videos, basically, I started with the first video we put out straight up, specifically focused on WikiLeaks and Julian Assange, which was WikiLeaks, which is this video. I'm just going to pop it in, okay? It's a whispering WikiLeaks Vault 7 Year Zero CIA hacking tools revealed. And this is an ASMR reading, right? I planned on creating a lot of WikiLeaks, Julian Assange content videos, specifically ASMR format, and we will continue that process. Uh, this is worthwhile. If you haven't read Vault 7 Year Zero, this is extremely crucial information of one of the most important leaks uh, ever regarding the future of the internet, okay, technology. And then, I think this was, hold on, when was this released? We did this. Please. It's a whispering reading, and we put this out in 2017, right? And then in 2019, Julian Assange was extradited from the Ecuadorian embassy, and we put out two streams, which is 
this guy here julian assange hopefully this stuff's showing up actually i should check this yeah it is cool Doo -doo, back we go uh this was part one we did julian assange we titled it julian assange has been arrested let's talk about it day one of two live stream on april 11th 2019 and i believe he was extracted out of the ecuadorian embassy in 2000 in april 10th May, it might have been april 11th i believe I, I can't remember right now but we talk about it okay so we did part one part two day one and day two with april 12th now once he got extradited we have talked about julian assange since then during the current events live streams and stuff and pre vault seven videos i put out where i said uh trusted news sources because people keep on asking me where i get my information uh, videos we've put out i believe from the first one we put out a few years ago i mentioned wikileaks is one of them and that is where we are going to go today right we've already been there right because after the two streams we put out when julian assange was ex extracted out of the out of the ecuadorian embassy we were in a waiting period right because he had to serve 50 weeks in jail for skipping bail which was basically maximum they give to anyone who's 52 is the maximum they gave him 50 which was ridiculous from the get-go right so you knew right off the bat this is a complete show trial that we are about to witness in the year 2019 right incredible if you ever have studied history and you have read about show trials this is one of the greatest show trials in human history irrelevant of where you stand if you support julian assange or you don't support julian assange if you want to know what history is about how it is written where it comes from who controls it right what people recollect how society is controlled right social engineering how it takes place and how governments play the population right and how many people the masses follow the herd mentality until they are completely lost in their own insanity right you should be following what is happening to julian assange so we we're in a waiting period 50 weeks a few weeks ago a couple of weeks ago julian assange was supposed to be let out but he wasn't he was still being held he had his first hearing for the extradition to the united states right since that time we've done three live streams uh, we did Julian Assange, WikiLeaks, Manning, collateral murder video, and the extradition hearings. That was Julian Assange part one, kicking off our work on what's going to, you know, following the events of what's taking place to Julian Assange. And this is going to be a long extended thing that's going to play out. All right. So we did part one. Part two, unfortunately, we had to cut and we split it up into two pieces. All right. And then we did part three. In part one, the main thing we looked at was the collateral murder video, okay? And we'll get into why that is extremely important. Uh, da -da -da -da, where is the collateral murder video? Bum, bum, bum. Here's a collateral murder video. We talked about this. We watched the short version of the collateral murder video, okay? And we didn't look at this video, but we read some other information, a little bit here, a little bit there. We covered a fair bit of stuff, right, in part one. In part two, we talked about Julian Assange and WikiLeaks and uh, protests in Chile because they're kicking up huge. And in part two B, where we had to cut the stream, we talked about Noam Chomsky and conspiracy theories and how people uh, are being manipulated into what, here, let me bring this up, what Malcolm X would say. Da, 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 da. Here, let me read you this. Because at the time, I couldn't find it but what basically and by the way this is my website i'm sorry if the thing's not showing everything because my face is there right but you can find it easily we sort of took this quote sort of ended with this quote when we talked about for part two right where quoting malcolm x warned us in his abaddon ballroom speech in harlem in december 13th 1964 right quoting malcolm x the press is so powerful the press is so powerful in its image making role it can make a criminal look like he's the victim and make the victim look like he's the criminal this is the press an irresponsible press if you aren't careful the newspapers will have you hating the people you 
hating the people who are being oppressed and loving the people who are doing the oppressing, end quote, right? And I have a whole bunch of stuff here for Malcolm X that we're going we're gonna to expand on this quote. Very, very important. It's something that, by the way, it's something that... Da -da 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 -da. Let me just make sure this is showing up. It should be showing up. Wilhelm Reich wrote about... Uh, not Wilhelm Reich, sorry. Robert Anton Wilson wrote about in Wilhelm, Wilhelm Reich in Hell, right? Which is really associated to the murder of Christ and persecution of truth tellers okay and we've talked about this and whatnot i just wanted to make sure we're doing a nice little review of what we've covered so far right and in part three what we ended up doing we looked at what uh article in the atlantic one of the mainstream sources of information and atlantic is even secondary right but it really uh showed the the what is used by the corporatists the propagandists to persecute someone right because someone in the comments had previously mentioned that we didn't know what we're talking about and julian assange is a bad guy he hates his kitten and abuses his kitten all this garbage so we took apart uh article from one of the mainstream sources that people use which are which is a propaganda site basically or it was a propaganda article and we followed who the person was and it linked it up to think tanks that are neoconservatives that are or you can follow that information in part three and then we looked at the true torture story which is basically what the un repertoire on torture that went into investigating to see how julian assange was being treated as an unbiased person he went in there not knowing barely knowing anything about Julian Assange and not knowing what was taking place and whatnot. And he came out saying, whoa, I cannot believe it. The Western governments are torturing journalists. Unbelievable. And he spoke out, right? That's what we've done so far. And you can find those videos in the WikiLeaks and Julian Assange playlist. Okay. What we are about to do today, we're going to engage with Chad and talk about answer questions or whatnot. But what I would like to do, because we looked at the we looked at the collateral murder video, right? We read a little bit of the collateral murder video. What we're going to do today is look at another article. And it's a, not a bad article, right? It gives you a little intro and, uh, and I'll provide the link in the, in the chat. It gives us a little intro, lists some of the things WikiLeaks has done. And what I found really informative in this, it lists the charges, the reason that the Western mainstream media is the reason why the governments the united states government is after julian assange and why they are extraditing him right and here's the description and the link in the chat okay um i'll come back to the chat we're gonna read it but what we're going to do is go through this list all the reasons that they've given that they're saying Julian Assange has been committing crimes, why they want him extradited to the United States and locked up, right? And if we in the West, because I've come across a lot of people who are defending the actions of the government of the United States, UK, Ecuador, and whatnot, and are pro the persecution, the crucifix, crucif should we use the word, right? The murder of Christ, right? They're 100% pro what is the governments are doing without really knowing what the charges are that are against Julian Assange, right? So we're going to make our way through these charges. The first one, of course, one of them was the collateral murder video that we covered already. So we're going to go to the WikiLeaks page, right? And on their main page, they have all this stuff. And hold on, let me turn off my, because I know this thing doesn't show up. Let me turn off my little image here on this side, right? I'm just going to turn off this video. And if you go here on the main WikiLeaks page, if you click on this, boop, okay, it takes you to all the leaks and you can scroll down this thing and 
find the leaks in basically almost chronolo chronological, right? 2017, we have 2016, 2015, 2014, 12, and then there's 2017 down here. I'm not sure why they put the 2017 there, but they did, right? And then you scroll down, you got 2016 or whatnot. It could be these are the dates that the revelations were given to them. I don't know. But if you scroll down here, you have the collateral murder video here, which we took a look at, right? That's this guy here. Right? And what we are going to do, we're going to go read the Guantanamo files. That is the main thing that we're going to do today. We're going to read this. It's a long read. And we're going to look at some other stuff I've already bookmarked. Maybe we'll see where the chat takes us. Okay. I just want to give that little intro to everyone. And I'm going to pop my video back up. Boop. And take a look at the chat. And get caught up. Okay. And I have the chat on this side because uh, this stuff is flushed to the left to a certain degree. Yeah, congratulations, actually. That's right. Corrupt cyanide or Zach. What are you going to be studying, by the way? Thank you. If you look it up under the Espionage Act, they are trying to charge him. None of the articles in that law allow them to prosecute him because um, because he is he is not a u.s citizen and two because one he is not a u.s citizen and two none of the things he did fall under it um, from his situation agreed 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 hi chicho hello olive how are you doing watching you on the night bus from oslo nice nice i hope it's a nice long bus ride we're going to be here a while we're going to be here a while is this working out okay this is working out okay nice now, how about we go through this? Let's have a read through this article. And by the way, the charges that they filed against Julian Assange, I'm sorry if I'm scrolling really fast. We'll read the charges. Uh, actually, let's, no, we'll read the charges later on. But the only one that really can even hold water, which it won't, would be conspiracy to violate the Computer Fraud and Abuse Act, CFFA, uh, five years, right? But that one is for Americans, U.S., and there's already people who haven't been extradited for this stuff that U.S. has gone after and whatnot. Everything else is what journalists do, and this is even what journalists do, number 18, right? Um, because all journalists try to protect their sources, right? Um, from all accounts of all journalists that with any amount of... Uh, <laughs> uh, respect for their journalistic abilities right uh, if they're holding true to their oath uh, so the rest of these we're going to read okay but let's go up to the top and have a read through this article i am studying creative writing with a focus on journalism oh dude <laughs> awesome you're in for a rough ride Corrupt. You're in for a hell of a ride, hell of a ride, hell of a ride. I hope you're ready for it. From the sounds of it, uh, uh, from our email conversation, what you wrote, it sounds like you, you know what you're getting yourself into, brother. All right? It's going to be an interesting ride. Should we have a read through this, gang? Let's have a read through this. I'm going to close this Malcolm X one. And let me do a refresh on this. Hopefully we're not going to lose the chat. I don't think we'll lose the chat. It's just the chat will pop up there as well. Almost six hours left of the bus for six hours. Wow. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Well, we're not going to be here that long. <laughs> we're going to be here for a couple of hours. Let's have a read through this. Let me make sure this is coming out okay. This is coming out okay. Cool. So... This is an article from New Internationalist. I, this is my first time. This article is the first time I've ever been to this uh, site. So I don't know how it is in general. Uh, but I found this article to be useful. And I checked out. I forget who the, the writer for this is. He's down at the below. But we'll check out at the end, right? 
So, title of the article. Oh, you know what? Well, this one we're not going to record, by the way. But when we read the Getmo files, I brought out my recorder. I might record it on the lapel mic. I got to remember to do this because I'm going to load those up slowly. You know, some of these leaks, actually, I'm going to try to. All of these leaks that Assange has been charged with, uh, collateral murder, we didn't do it with, uh, hard to do with a video, but I'm going to see what I can do on creating full on ASMR videos, just standalone, just reading what's on WikiLeaks. Because it's, you know, if we in the Western world are allowing our governments to crucify someone for revealing information, we might as well know what information this person revealed and why we are crucifying someone, right? Just putting it out there, right? Good idea for us to know why we are doing this. Let's read the article. Quote, journalists must pay attention to Julian Assange. And this article was written on October 31st, 2019. Uh, free press and it's from the New Internationalist. Uh, and it says various authors, more about various authors. Quote, Julian Assange recently faced another stage in the process to extradite him to the U.S. where he could face 175 years of jail time. Felicity, Felicity Ruby and Naomi Colvin examined implications for press rights and freedom of speech. Quote, the U.K. media has long adopted a cynical attitude towards Julian Assange, but recently... Footage of WikiLeaks publishers recent court appearance is prompting many to have second thoughts. Okay. Oh, we can't have that. Up. In the latest clip to find its way onto the internet, we see Assange squinting sealed within the tiny compartment of a circle prison, prison van leaving Westminster uh, magistrates court on 21st October trying to adjust to the bright lights shown directly into his face at close range. Several hours earlier, a large and loud crowd of supporters had intercepted another circle van, but all the chanting, cheering, and solidarity was in vain. Assange's transport was delayed several hours until almost everyone had left. Okay. And we saw this video. We've taken a look at it. It's a short video, highly recommend. Uh, actually, let's, let's take a look at it. Might as well do a little recap of what we've seen so far. This is the video. Okay. I'm just going to check on chat every every so often if we take a little break for a video or something just to keep up with the chat. I am ready for the journey. I I don't know. It will be a fight, but if it's if it uh improves the world, I'm ready for it. Awesome, brother. Everyone is focused on the rights of press and that is important, but the uh, but the scare I see is that this sets a precedent that any government can do any anything and get away with it. For example, Task Force 373 is a kill squad in its most basic form. They kill children and many civilians. And with this and other things that Assange leaked to uh, 
to us is still getting away with all the all of this scot scot free if julian is extradited the governments of the world can virtually do anything to us and get away with it 100 percent agree 100 percent agree and we're going to tackle that we're going to look into this stuff all right we're going to read the leaks i'm just turning down the glare on the computer for me for myself a little bit we're going to continue with the article quote assange looked despondent his lawyers had had requested a routine postponement of his main extradition hearing which was refused apparently after the per prosecution took instructions from u.s representatives during a 10-minute recess his lawyers also requested the magistrate schedule time to ar for arguments about the political nature of the charges against assange given that the uk u.s extradition treaty stipulates that if the off offense is political extradition must not proceed the fact that for several years assange's meetings with lawyers were filmed and streamed live to the cia was also raised as a critical issue but to no avail the magistrate provided a little more time for pre-trial presentation of evidence but warned that the main hearing would place as uh, take place as scheduled in february 2020 and at london london's belmarsh prison according to eyewitnesses assange appeared disoriented and distressed in court exhibiting the physical and psychological symptoms of someone arbitrarily detained for nine years u.n repertoire on torture nils melzer has put it in thus quote the evidence is overwhelming and clear mr assange has been deliberately exposed for a period of several years to progressively severe forms of cruel inhumane or degrading treatment or punishment the cumulative effects of which can only be described as psychological torture and quoting N nils melsner back to the article assange compelled his uh, completed his sentence in belmarsh maximum security prison for bail violations on 23rd september thus completing his punishment for applying applying for for receiving political asylum for many years we heard that julian was in the ecuadorian embassy to avoid allegations of sexual misconduct in sweden despite the fact that no country on earth give asylum to non-citizens to avoid sexual misconduct allegations as subsequent events have demonstrated assange's fears were more than justified assange broke bail conditions in order to seek asylum from the scenario he now faces life imprisonment for publishing equi publishing ecuador granted that asylum because the u.s obviously intended to prosecute assange for publishing this was confirmed shortly after his extradition from their london embassy a moment for which the u.s was poised and ready assange also received asylum uh, assange also received asylum because he was with quote without the support of the country of which he is citizen end quote australia while the uh, cross party quote bring julian assange home parliamentary group end quote has recently been established in australia for the time being his own government remains mute the indictments for which assange is now imprisoned have nothing to do with sweden russia trump or his cat they are a straightforward attempt to prosecute a publisher for committing acts of journalism specifically the release of the 2010 2011 on guantanamo bay the wars in afghanistan and iraq and Cablegate. These are the most significant series of public interest disclosures of our times. The U.S. Justified Justice Department's case will hinge on whether it can successfully defend national security journalism as a form of espionage. Redefine, sorry, successfully redefine national security journalism as a form of espionage. Assange is the first publisher ever to be charged on the es under the Espionage Act, under which it is not possible to mount a public interest defense. Even those who have spent years demonizing Assange have balked at this uh, lunge of 
extraterritorial executive power by the US government. The New York Times, the Washington Post, the Wall Street Journal, and the Guardian have expressed grave concern about the charges he faces. UK Special Envoy on Media Freedom, uh, Amal, Amal Cloney, stated at the June Global Conference for Media Freedom, the charges criminalize common practices in journalism, which the American Civil Liberties Union has warned. Establish a dangerous precedent that can be used to target all news organizations that hold the government accountable by publishing its secrets. Some have tried to claim Assange is not a journalist, but it's, it's difficult to argue with the U.S. Army Army's counterintelligence center's description of WikiLeaks as a news organization, and Assange as a writer and journalist that had shown journalistic responsibility to the newsworthiness of fair use of the classified documents. Or with the Australian Media Entertainment and Arts Alliance, the UN, uh, the UN representing journalists and publishers, of which Assange has been a member since 19, 2019, carrying a journalistic card. For his work, he was presented with the Walkley Award for Most Outstanding Contribution to Journalism in 2011, the Martha Gelbhorn Prize for Journalism, the Eco Economist New Media Award, the Amnesty International Media New Media Award, and a dozen others. Even the High Court of the United Kingdom, in its ruling of November 2nd, 2011, described Julian Assange as a journalist, well known through his operations of WikiLeaks in its opening line. And that was quoting. Okay. For, this, for this journalism, he is held alone for more than 20 hours a day in a cell on the health ward of Belmarsh only just able to receive documents from his lawyers. Years of un unsympathetic and hostile treatment from his peers have left him almost as, none, uh, as alone in the public realm as he is now in Belmarsh. And yet it is on this man, resilient but much weakened after a decade of, of unrelenting pressure, that the future of, of the freedom to report and to read rests. We have uh, what we have learned from WikiLeaks. So before we continue on with the next section, I'm just going to check on chat. Okay, cool. We're all going with reading. I'm going to have a little sip of tea. And just make sure we're still streaming fine. We're still streaming fine. Cool. Let's go back to the article. Quote, what we have learned from WikiLeaks. Here's a sample of WikiLeaks releases covering many institutions, issues, governments, and countries, each provided by a whistleblower who trusted this platform to publish in order to bring about uh, reform of how political, corporate, and media elites operate. Each release has shared genuine information genuine information about how governments, companies, banks, the UN, political parties, jailers, cults, private security firms, war planners, and the media actually operate when they think no one is looking. One or point. Saudi Arabia offered a bribe to the United Kingdom of $100,000 to help the UK campaign to be on the Human Rights Council. Part of the deal offered by the United Kingdom was a vote swap that saw Saudi Arabia leading the Human Rights Council. Point. Cable, cables were used in evidence to reveal the truth about the United Kingdom's establishment of a marine re reserve around San Diego, San, uh, Diego Garcia. It was to protect U.S. base and prevent the Chagos Islands from ever returning home. Islanders from ever returning home. Point. The IAEA had warned Japan about safety issues at nuclear plants in 2009, years before the Fukushima disaster, particularly that its power plants could not withstand powerful earthquakes. Point. 
Australia worked with Britain, Canada, Japan, and others to undermine the Cluster Munitions Treaty, ensuring that deploying U.S. cluster bombs in their soil was not precluded by the convention. Point. Safety and security issues with the UK's tr Trident nuclear weapons systems were revealed to WikiLeaks by Royal Navy Abel Seaman, Abel Seaman William McNeely. Point. Minton report detailed how Dutch multinational company Trafogura Tr Tr had dumped toxic waste in Ivory Coast. WikiLeaks provided the report that had been uh, suppressed through a super injection, including to the affected hundred injunction. Let me read that again. WikiLeaks provided the report that had been suppressed through a super injunction, including to the affected 100, 108,000 people. Point. Obama's administration spied on UN leadership and personnel, authorizing theft of biometric data, DNA, fingerprints, retina scans, and passports. Point. El Masri, Masri, a completely innocent German citizen, stat, snatched off the streets, detained, tortured, and dumped on the streets in Albania, took a case to the European Court of Human Rights using six cables in evidence. Point. The Syria files provided extra... Uh, extraordinary and timely insight into the Assad regime through over 2 million emails from 680 Syrian political refugees, minist ministries and associated companies, and the regime's intentional security contracts, international security contracts. Point. The Guantanamo files expose systematic and routine violations of the Geneva Conventions and ab abuse of 800 prisoners as young as 14 and as old as 89 uh, at Guantanamo Bay. And uh, ending quote, according to the article, and this is what we plan on reading today. If we, I'm not sure if we're going to get the whole thing done. Uh, this is the what we're going to take a look at right and this is one of the things that he's being charged with the collateral murder classified us back to the quote back to the article quoting and the collateral murder is what we talked about in the, um, i believe in the second live stream that we did right quote the collateral murder classified us military video showed a helicopter gunship slaying 18 people in the iraqi suburb of new baghdad including two Reuters journalists and their rescuers documenting a war crime. And just a note on this, and in quote, just a note on this, in the video, we also sh saw them when they were shooting up the crowd there. There were also two children in the van, so they also shot up two kids, okay? And they denied those two kids access to the military, U.S. military hospital, and directed the children to be taken to the local hospital right back to the article quote the united states has a manual for unconventional warfare that was created in 2008 for u.s special forces uh, for when they are overthrowing a government explicitly stated is the media's role in advancing the goals of u.s national power should we read that again let's read this again this is what WikiLeaks has revealed to us, right? Quote from the article. The United States has a manual for unconventional warfare that was created in 2008 for U.S. special forces for when they are overthrowing a government. Explicitly stated is the media's role in advancing the goals of U.S. national power. Point. TPP, TTIP, and TSA major trade agreements drafted and negotiated in secret without proper democratic oversight were seen by those affected when WikiLeaks uh, provided multiple draft chapters and negotiating positions to the public, fueling social, social justice and fair trade movements. Point. 
Iraqi prisoners were tortured and abused by Ira Iraqi police and soldiers, and U.S. forces were involved in the death and maiming of more than 200,000 people in Iraq. Point. The global intelligence files revealed the inner workings of private intelligence firm Stratford, which uh, services the U.S. government and large corporations such as Bhopal's Dow Chemical Company, Lockheed Martin, Raytheon, and numerous government agencies. Point. The National Security Agency, NSA, were, um, world leaders targets revealed interception of NSA uh, targets, including UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon's meetings with heads of state, Prime Minister Bersaloni and Netanyahu, President Holland, the Japanese cabinet, and UNHCR and World Trade Organization. Point. In 2016, a corrupt multi-billion dollar war by Western and Chinese companies, companies grabbed uranium and other mining rights in the Central African Republic, CAR, and escaped pay, paying for environmental consequences. Point. Cash payments were made to Indian MPs for their support of a U.S.-India nuclear deal. Point. Suppressed video footage was released of the 1995 sodium spill disaster that led to the closure of Japan's Monju Fast Breeder Reactor following the 2008 announcement that the reactor would be opened. Point. Burma shipped one. 10,000 tons of rice to feed poor North Korea as payment for sophisticated conventional weapons. The cable reference references a business source stating that exchanges of weapons for food had gone on for more than five years. Point. Over 650,000 critical documents relating to Russia under Vladimir Putin have been published, including releases about surveillance contractors in Russia. Okay. The article continues. The charges listing them, listing them like this makes clear for which releases he is charged and the penalties for various activities associated. So I'm just going to go back to the chat if before we continue with this next section. You look like I play the stocks. I play the stocks. Welcome to a stream. I hope you're here to play nice and I can look like a lot of different people. Trust me. A lot of people say it's uh, Serge Tankian. Uh, right from System of a Down. Some people say I talk like Bob Ross when they look at my math and comic book videos. Manson, not so much. Now, let's go to, back to the article, okay? Now keep in mind, in the article up here, this is what I would like to cover, put on full on ASMR videos on. Okay, doop, doop, doop. he listed him here. No, oh, that's not it. Here we go. This guy here. So I'm going to read this paragraph to you guys again. This guy right here. Okay. The, the indictments for which Assange is now imprisoned have nothing to do with Sweden, Russia, Trump, or his cat. They are a straightforward attempt to prosecute a publisher for committing acts of journalism, specifically the releases of 2010-2011 on Guantanamo Bay, the wars in Afghanistan and Iraq and collateral and cable gate, right? I'm pretty sure if we click on this, it takes us to here, right? So here's the Guantanamo file thing that we're going to follow, read, try to read today. We'll see. This is the Afghanistan war diaries. Okay, we'll take a look at this as well. And here's the Iraq collateral. Well, here's the Iraq war diaries. I guess collateral murder video was one of the main feature of that really it lifted the veil and we, we can talk about that a little bit more actually we might talk about that a little bit more right and cable gate okay and here's the information for cable gate okay 
if we public library of U.S. diplomacy cable gate, and these were the cable gate were just cables between U.S. politicians around the globe and what they were talking about, and revealed some stuff. I haven't delved too deep into that, okay? But we should know why Julian Assange, what the charges are, right? There's 18 total charges. Here are the charges against Julian Assange. Julian Assange faces 18 charges. One, conspiracy to violate the Espionage Act. Ten years is the maximum punishment for that. Two, violating, violating the Espionage Act by Manning's obtaining Guantanamo Bay Naval Base Gitmo files. Ten years. Three, violating the Espionage Act by Manning's obtaining Cablegate 10. Ten years. Four, violating the espionage act by manning's obtaining iraq logs 10 years attempting to receive and obtain classified information 10 years that was number five number six unlawful obtaining and receiving gitmo files 10 years number seven unlawful obtaining and receiving cable gate 10 years number eight unlawfully unlawfully obtaining and receiving iraq war logs 10 years nine causing unlawful disclosure by manning manning of gitmo files 10 years number 10 causing unlawful disclosure by manning of cablegate 10 years number 11 causing unlawful disclosure by manning of iraq war logs 10 years number 12 causing manning to communicate deliver and transmit gitmo files 10 years number 13 causing manning to communicate deliver and transmit cable gate 10 years number 14 causing manning to communicate deliver and transmit iraq war logs 10 years pure publication of afghan war diaries 10 years that was number 15 number 16 pure publication of iraq war logs that's 10 years number 17 pure publication of cable gate 10 years and last one number 18 conspiracy to violate the computer fraud and abuse act cffa and that's five years okay and the last bit here for the article uh felicity felicity ruby is a doctoral candidate in the department of government and international relations at the university of sydney wikileaks is one of the case studies in her research naomi colvin works on whistle um, on whistleblowing research and policy at international ngo blueprint for free speech so the two main people credited with this i guess it was anonymous but felicity ruby and naomi colvin okay so there's a lot of these charges are triple triple four right one of them is uh espionage act by manning obtaining something right and then receiving the files the same files and then publishing the same files right so if you take 18 divided by whatever four you get two 12 of these things are related to the four things and then there's helping manning and all that jazz it could be a little bit you know numbers this way or that way but there's mainly four things that Assange is being charged with here. One of them is WikiLeaks reveals secret files on all Guantanamo prisoners. Okay. I'm just going to go to the chat to see where we are, see if there's any comments. Have you ever read the book Just Mercy? It's about racism in the American South judicial system the court corruption reminds me uh, a lot about this corruption no i haven't read that uh, uh corrupt zach cyanide i'm gonna call you cyanide here anyway this all applies to american citizens and government officials not international components manning could be uh charged i see that but not assange and manning was charged and manning was uh uh what's the word i forget what the word is that obama let her go right uh 
she's still, someone pointed out that she still uh, took on the guilt, but commuted sentence, I guess that's the word we're looking for. Post apocalypse. I think that there is a room to criticize the release of raw information because it can have negative consequences, but it can also have positive consequences. Keeping some information secret can also be harmful. Uh, post apocalypse, to a certain degree, I agree, I agree, but WikiLeaks does go through a vetting process. They don't release the raw stuff, as far as I know. They run filters through, and they took out a lot of names and stuff like this in the past. Um, they've I don't believe they've gotten sloppy. As far as I know, they haven't had to retract anything. And uh, I don't believe, as far as I recall, they've gotten sloppy to release anything because there has never been a, a charge for WikiLeaks against Julian Assange. And we didn't see it in these charges that states that they're being charged for releasing information that caused the death of certain people. Deep State has done that. There are certain people that have, politicians that have done that. But WikiLeaks and Julian Assange hasn't. There was one person that actually released uh, the name of a uh, CIA operative that was working in a certain country by uh, demonizing her husband, bringing out her husband's name and kind of linking up there. Uh, uh, Palmer, I believe it was called. I forget the names. I was following the stuff as they were coming out. This is a lot, little bit of electrolytes and stuff. Okay. Now, we're about an hour into this stream. Let's scroll down. Let me show you how much information is in here. This is regarding the Gitmo files, right? We should be able to do this in an hour. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, record this as well on this. So we can have the recorded version. Hopefully it'll be a nice recording. Uh, that way I can load it up in full on ASMR format on uh, YouTube with the pages. I read uh, that WikiLeaks refuses to leak things against Putin. Uh, no, uh, clink, clink clock. In this article, one of the main things that they have released highlighting here, we can go to the release. Okay, WikiLeaks, spy files, uh, Russia, right? So WikiLeaks has released stuff on Russia. And what does he release? If we go back to the article, I'm just going to read the short version here because we're not going to focus on that right now. Over 650,000 critical documents relating to Russia under Vladimir Putin have been published including releases about surveillance contractors in Russia. So if you've heard that, the odds are you've heard it from Western corporate mainstream propagandists because that's what they like to propagate, right? That's what they like to propagate. Uh, Post-apocalypse, a book, uh, a book, Secrets and Leaks by Raul uh, Sagar. It outlines how far we should go and how. Uh, oh, this is regarding uh, declassified information. We should handle government secrecy. I have yet to find a negative about Ju Julian's leak, but I feel that if you read this, it will open up uh, your eyes for the mass of the uh, to the mass of the situation. Do you think WikiLeaks have been taken down? Um, no, I still think they're 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 legit, but unfortunately, uh, they're a hot potato right now. So, um, what's going on? We're seeing disruptive innovation kick in, right? And there's a a few different platforms now, a few different organizations that are leaking information, right? So, with the deep state, with the centralized powers trying to clamp down on WikiLeaks, because WikiLeaks, it it was revolutionary. What Julian Assange and WikiLeaks have done, it grand, 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 right? It's on the same level as cryptocurrencies, right? It's on the same level as the internet, really. It's it's huge, right? This platform is one of the most important 
disruptive innovations, technological revolutions that has happened in human history, right? Huge, huge, huge. That is why we're spending so much time on this, okay? Seven, fake news, the other stuff, 100%. I wouldn't mind if you kept on streaming for two or six more hours. <laughs> look awesome. I'll try, brother, I'll try. I won't last six hours. It's not going to happen. We got math to do tomorrow as well, right? Um, thank you for the love, though. If they try to take it down, then a lot of people would try to keep it up. Yeah. And there, it's not down, but unfortunately... I, WikiLeaks, we can see what they're getting. Here's a page on the leaks that they have, right? They're still getting leaks. They're still leaking information, main information. So if you go to the leaks page again, US, M, US Embassy Shopping List, Amazon Atlas, Dealmaker, AI, uh, Al Yosef, uh, Vault 8, like Vault 8, vault seven was huge like i there's a reason i did the reading when we did the reading for vault seven this was huge this was released in 2016 i believe uh, da, 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 vault seven 2017 right and the leak came out in 2017 and we put out the video in 2000 Mostly believes. <laughs> that was me whispering. In 2017, like it was so important, it was so grand, its implication regarding information that I did, I put out the reading right away as fast as I was able to process it, right? Um, but if they weren't going after Julian Assange, WikiLeaks would have released a lot more information, I believe. A lot, of, a lot more information would have gone to them. Okay. Dante, how are you doing? Oh, you didn't get a notification. Pooper scooper. Eduardo, how are you doing? Congrats on Brazil, Eduardo. So far, long battle ahead. Okay. I think I'm getting ready to do this Gitmo file reading. Now, gang, the odds are I'm not going to check the chat. I want to focus on the reading because I I'm doing the recording of it too. I'll check the chat after we do the reading. I'm gonna close this notepad that we have where we have the information. Uh, thank you very much for the sub brother cyanide. Much appreciated. Uh, should we look at this, man? I queued up some Obama speeches, right? But you know what uh, okay i'm just going to give you a little rundown we're not going to listen to obama right we'll listen to here ah, I, I can't I'm, I'm with uh what do you call it i'm just going to link you guys this i'm with uh norman finkelstein i can't really stand listening to obama's talk but i had to for this right check out this video what do you think of the Bolivia vs. Dante, huge, huge, huge. South America is a battleground right now, right? Uh, in a, in a, in a, in a, in the next current events live stream we, we do, we will definitely focus on it. I hope so. Anyway, I hope people will want to talk about it. It's huge. The battle for South America has kicked into full gear, and it's gonna get more intense. We're going to see where it plays out. Okay. We're going to see how it plays out. It's huge, huge, huge. Right. So what I basically history of torture when Obama came in was this. He came out and said, we will not torture. First, he said, we do not torture. And then he said, we will not torture. And then he came out and said, we tortured some folks. Like, really, we tortured some folks. Right. We tortured some people, but you have to understand that it was a paraphrasing Obama. It was after 9-11. People were pissed off. So, uh, you know, they tortured people. And then what was he going to do about that? Well, this is what he ended up doing about it. He said, we need to look forward. No prosecuting anyone for torture. Okay. Pretty important. Uh, that's what I linked in the chat. Uh, huge. Because what we're about to read is about torture. 
okay the guantanamo files i'm gonna close the murder collateral video and uh, we'll end uh, kill the main wikileaks page as well okay and uh, what i'm gonna do is uh, i'm gonna leave the chat open uh, while we read this that way the chat's showing up in the video as well what, what do you mean that you can't stand here and obama talk his voice on his or or his opinions uh not his voice his opinions the way the way he doesn't say anything the way he justifies war crimes and murder and waging war uh it's brutal right oh like here if you want we listen to it all of keep this video in mind right keep this video in mind should we you know what let's do let's do work let's let's do we'll go through the videos all of you got time you're on a train we got time and for sure we'll try to finish off this reading right because i'm going to record it so we're going to read the whole gitmo files after we watch these videos okay here's obama i don't know what the date for this is it says january 22nd and i can't find out where it was uploaded like it's crazy uh, so let's just play this this morning i signed three executive orders first i can say without exception or equivocation that the United States will not torture. <laughs> Second, we will close the Guantanamo Bay detention camp and determine how to deal with those who have been held there. Third, we will immediately undertake a comprehensive review to determine how to hold and try terrorism suspects to best protect our nation and the rule of law. The world needs to understand that America will be unyielding in its defense of its security and relentless in its pursuit of those who would carry out terrorism or threaten the United States. And that's why in this twilight struggle, we need a durable framework. The orders that I signed today should send an unmistakable signal that uh, our actions in defense of liberty will be just as our cause, and that we, the people, will uphold our fundamental values as vigilantly as we protect our security. Once again, America's moral example <coughs> must be the bedrock and the beacon of our global leadership okay so we're going to go in chronological order that first came out right that was pretty much early on when he was elected i'm just going to close that tab Doop. all right here is in 2014 i guess this was uploaded this is c-span so this would be in 2014 right so here's the next one after a certain amount of time the c-span networks bring you long-form public affairs programming from the nation's capital and are a public service of your television provider. C-SPAN, created by... This was the 1st of August. Uh, eventually, we'll was make it? some progress. Okay. All right? I thought that you guys were going to ask me of, uh, how I was going to spend my birthday. What, what happened to the happy birthday thing? I will, I will uh, address two points. Uh, I'll address... Uh, hold on, guys. Come on. I, the, uh, the, the, there's just uh, I, I, you're not that pent up. I've been giving you I've been giving you questions lately uh, on Brennan uh, and uh, the CIA. Uh, the RDI report has been transmitted. Uh, the uh, the declassified uh, version uh, that will be released uh, at the pleasure of the uh, the Senate committee. Um, I have full confidence in John Brennan. Uh, I think he has acknowledged and directly apologized to uh, Senator Feinstein that uh, CIA personnel did not properly handle an investigation as to how certain documents that uh, uh, were not authorized to be released to the Senate staff uh, got somehow into the hands of the Senate staff. Uh, and uh, it's clear from the IG report that some very poor judgment was shown in terms of how that was handled. Keep in mind, though, that John Brennan was the person who called for the IG report. Uh, and uh, he's already st stood up uh, a task force to make sure that uh, uh, lessons are learned and mistakes are resolved. Um, 
With respect to the larger point of the RDI uh, report itself, um, even before I came into office, uh, I was very clear that uh, in the immediate aftermath of 9-11, uh, we did some things that were wrong. We did a whole lot of things that were right, but we tortured some folks. We did some things that were contrary to our values. I understand why it happened. Uh, I, I think uh, it's important uh, when we look back to recall how afraid people were uh, after uh, the Twin Towers uh, fell and, and the Pentagon had been hit and the plane in Pennsylvania had fallen and people did not know whether more attacks were imminent. Uh, and there was enormous pressure uh, on our law enforcement and our national security teams to try to deal with this. Uh, and, um, you know, it, it, it's important for us not to uh, feel too sanctimonious in retrospect about the tough job that those folks had. And a lot of those folks uh, uh, were s working hard under enormous pressure and are real patriots. But having said all that, we did some things that were wrong. And that's what that report reflects. And that's the reason why after uh, I took office, one of the first things I did was to ban uh, some of the in extraordinary interrogation techniques that are the subject of that report. Um, and my hope is, is that this report uh, reminds us once again that you know, the character of our country has to be measured in part uh, not by what we do when things are easy, but what we do when things are hard. Um, and, uh, and, and, and when we engaged in some of these enhanced interrogation techniques, techniques that I believe and I think any fair-minded person would believe were torture, uh, we crossed the line. Uh, and, and that needs to be, uh, that mean, need, needs to be understood uh, and accepted. Uh, and we have to, as a country, take responsibility for that so that hopefully we don't do it uh, again in the future. So keep that in mind, right? The, he's, he's admitting that the United States tortured people. Now, you have to also appreciate what that torture brought. It was because of lies stated by people being tortured by the United States that the war in Iraq was really rubber stamped. Boom. Because people that were being tortured they lied saying that Iraq was trying to get nuclear weapons and all that jazz and that. Everybody knew, anyone that knew anything knew that wasn't happening and they weren't involved with Al-Qaeda. But because they were able to get people that they were torturing to say whatever they wanted, they brought that saying, oh, these people told us that, right? The results of torture are huge. Uh, they didn't torture children. Uh, Olive, they did. Omar Khadr. Omar Cod, I, I'm Codder. Am I? I don't know if I'm pronouncing his name right. They tortured children. Omar Cotter was 14 years old when he was tortured. Here, let's find out. Omar Cotter, this guy. Omar Cotter. Okay. Should we go Wikipedia? I don't like Wikipedia. Not for this kind of stuff. I'm just going to give you his face. Omar Cotter. He is, this is him now. Okay. He was 14 years old when he was tortured. Canadian police handed him over to the Americans. The Americans sent him to Guantanamo Bay and he was tortured. For years he was tortured. Brutally tortured. Okay. Brutally tortured. Anyone that says the United States not this is this is this is what he looked like when he was tortured when he was taken in, fourteen years old, okay, that's it. 
the United States tortured children. No one can say that they didn't. However, let's follow the next video. Here's the next video. What did Obama do to those people who tortured people? War crimes. Keep this in mind. Keep this in mind. Children were killed by U.S. kill squad in Afghanistan on top of the torture. This is insane. It is insane. All of it is 100% insane. So keep this in mind. The United States torture. We're about to read the details of Guantanamo, right? Like, this is huge. Like, I don't understand. Anyone that... I can guarantee you 99.99999% of the people that want Julian's head on a stick really don't understand what WikiLeaks has revealed that the United States tortured children, right? The least of it, <laughs> right? Like, that's one of the reasons why we're doing these readings. Now, keep this in mind. Okay, I don't think I can catch your evening streams anymore since i'm in europe and started going to bed at reasonable times dante anyway good night Joe. good night dante thanks for being around i'll keep it in mind i'll start putting earlier streams on okay uh for me i move it around right now a fair bit but th brother thank you for being here like seriously uh what you do and what you've done is a phenomenal very much appreciated good night i hope you have fantastic dreams man Here's Obama. This video was released in 2009. I think this is, I don't know when this was. This is 2009, right? So check this out. He's being asked basically, what are you going to do about people who tortured people in the US government? American military torturing people is war crimes. They have to be held accountable, right? The thing here says Obama on investigation of a Bush administration crimes. We need to look forward as opposed to looking back, right? The most popular question on your own website is related to this uh, on change.gov. It comes from Bob Furtick mm -hmm. of New York City, and he asks, will you appoint a special prosecutor, ideally Patrick Fitzgerald, to independently investigate the gravest crimes of the Bush administration, including torture and warrantless wiretapping? We're still evaluating how we are going to uh, approach the whole issue of uh, interrogations, detentions, uh, and so forth. Uh, and obviously, we're going to be looking at past practices. Uh, and uh, I don't believe that anybody is above the law. Uh, on the other hand, I also have a belief that we need to look forward as, low, as opposed to look, looking backwards. Uh, and part of my job is to make sure that, uh, for example, at the CIA, uh, you've got extraordinarily talented people who are working very hard to keep Americans safe. Uh, I don't want them to suddenly feel like they've got to spend all their time uh, wor looking over their shoulders and, and lawyering. So no 9-11 commission with independent subpoena it, it, power? You know, we have not made final decisions, but my instinct is for us to focus on how do we make sure that moving forward uh, we are doing the right thing. Uh, that doesn't mean that uh, if somebody has blatantly broken the law, that they are above the law. But my orientation is going to be to move forward. So, so let me just press that one more time. You're not ruling out prosecution, but will you tell your Justice Department to investigate these cases and follow the evidence wherever it leads? What I, uh, I think my general view when it comes to my attorney general is he's the people's lawyer. Uh, Eric Holder's been nominated. His job is to uphold the Constitution and look after the interests of the American people, not to be swayed by my day-to-day -day politics. Uh, so ultimately, he's going to be making some calls. But my general belief is that when it comes to national security, what we have to focus on is getting things right uh, in the future as opposed to uh, looking at what we got wrong in the past. You know, you mentioned Eric Holt. So that's Obama, right? Let's read the Gitmo files. Okay. Do we have a date on this release? I believe this was released. Uh, this is released in 2010, 2011, I believe. Okay. But we're going to do. Okay. Most likely, I'm going to keep the chat down, gang. So we're getting into full blown reading. Uh, I don't know how long it's going to be. 
Uh, I'd like to finish reading it. Um, <coughs> test, test, test. One, two, three. I'm going to lock this up. This recording. He is blatantly trying to avoid the fact that they are not going to p push legal action. 100%. Obama quote, we tortured some folks. We tortured some folks. Some of those folks were 14 years old and we tortured them for years. All right. We tortured 14 year old that we captured when they were 14 and we tortured them for multiple years. And we're just going to look forward. That's Obama. Right? Test, test, test. Okay, gang. I'll come to the chat after the reading. <coughs> Gitmo files. Files released so far. 765 out of 779. WikiLeaks reveals secret files on all Guantanamo prisoners. In its latest release of classified U.S. documents, WikiLeaks is shining the light of truth on a notorious icon of the Bush administration's war on terror. The prisoner at Guantanamo Bay, Cuba, which opened, the, opened on January 11, 2002, and remains open under President Obama, despite his promise to close much criticized facility within a year of taking office. In thousands of pages of documents dating from 2002 to 2008 and never seen before by members of the public or the media, the cases of the majority of the prisoners held at Guantanamo, 765 out of 779 in total, are described in detail in memorandum from JTF Gitmo, the Joint Task Force at Guantanamo Bay, to U.S. Southern Command in Miami, Florida. These memoranda, known as Detainee Assessment Briefs, D-A-B-S, DABs, contain JTF Gitmo's recommendations about whether the prisoners in question should continue to be held or should be re released, transferred to their home government or to other governments. They consist of a wealth of important and previously undisclosed information, including health assessments. For example, and in the case, cases of the majority of the 175 prisoners who are still held, photos, mostly for the first time ever. They also include information on the 201 prisoners released from the prison between 2002 and 2004, which unlike information on the rest of the prisoners summaries of evidence and tribunal trans transcripts released at the as a result of a lawsuit filed by media groups in 2006 have never been made public before most of these documents reveal accounts of importance familiar to those who have studied guantanamo closely with innocent men detained by mistake or because the u.s was offering substantial bounties to its allies for al-qaeda or taliban suspects the numerous insignificant taliban uh, conscripts from afghanistan and pakistan beyond these previously unknown cases the documents also reveal stories of the 399 other prisoners released from september 2004 to the present day and of the seven men who have died at the prison the memos are signed by the command, commander of Guantanamo at the time and describe whether the prisoners in question are regarded as low, medium, or high risk. Although they were obviously not conclusive in and of themselves, as final decisions about the disposition of the prisoners were taken at a higher level, they represent not only the opinions of JTF Gitmo, but also the Criminal Investigation Task Force created by the Department of Defense for Conduct Interrogation in the War on Terror and the BSCTs, the behavior. The files also contain detailed explanations of the supposed inter intelligence used to justify the prisoner's detention. For many readers, these will 
be the most fascinating section of the documents as they seem to to offer an extraordinary insight into the workings of US intelligence but also many of the documents appear appear to promise proof of prisoners association with Al Qaeda or other terrorist organization organizations extreme caution is required the documents draw on the testimony of witnesses in most cases the prisoners fellow prisoners whose words are unreliable either because they were subjected to torture or other forms of coercion sometimes not in guantanamo but in secret prisons run by the cia or because they provided false statements to secure better treatment in guantanamo regular appearances throughout these documents by witnesses whose words should be regarded as untrustworthy include the following high value detainees quote high value detainees or quote ghost prisoners please note that isn and the numbers in brackets following the prisoner's name refer to the short quote in term serial numbers internment serial numbers by which the prisoners are or were identified in u.s custody abdu zabadi isn 10,016. the supposed high value detainee seized in pakistan in march 2020 who spent four and a half years in cia prisons prisons including facilities in thailand and poland subject to waterboarding a form of controlled drowning on 80 three occasions in cia custody august 2002. abdu Zab zabadi was moved to guantanamo with 13 other high value detainees in september 2006. ibn al shaki al libi isn 212 the emir of a military training camp for which abdu zagabi was the gatekeeper who despite having his camp closed by the Taliban in 2000 because he refused to allow it to be taken over by Al-Qaeda is described in these documents as Osama bin Laden's military commander in Tora Bora soon after his capture in December 2001 al Libi was rendered by the CIA to Egypt where under torture he falsely confessed that al-qaeda operatives had been meeting with saddam hussein to discuss obtaining chemical and biological weapons al libi recanted his particular lie but it was nevertheless used by the bush administration to justify the invasion of iraq in march 2003. al libi was never sent to guantanamo although at some point probably in 2006 the cia sent him back to libya where he was imprisoned and where he died allegedly by committing suicide in May 2009. Sharwai Abdu Al Ali Al Hajj, ISN 1457, a Yemeni also known as, as Riyadh the facilitator, who was seized by a house raid in Pakistan in February 2002 and is described as, quote, an al-qaeda fac facilitator end quote after his capture he was transferred to to a torture prison in jordan jordan run on behalf of the cia where he was held for nearly two years and was then held for six months in u.s facilities in afghanistan he was thrown to guantanamo in september he was flown to guantanamo in september 2004. sanad yaslam al kazimi ISN 1453 a Yemeni who was seized in UAE in January 2003 and then held in three secret prisons including the dark prison near Kabul and a secret facility within the US prison at Bagram Air Base in February 2010 in direct uh, in district court in Washington DC Hodge Henry H Kennedy Jr granted the habeas corpus petition of a, of a Yemeni prisoner, Athan, Athan, Athman Abdul Rahman Muhammad Athaman, largely because he refused to accept testimony produced by either Sharwa, Sharkwai al Hajad or Sanad al 
Kazimi, as he stated, quote, the court will not rely on the statements of Hajj or Kazimi because there is unrebuted evidence in the record that at the time of the interrogations at which they made the statements, both men had been recent had recently been tortured. End quote. Others include Ahmad Kaf Kafan Galani, ISN. 10,012, and Walid bin Atash, ISN 10,014, two more of the high-value detainees transferred into Guantanamo in September 2006 after being held in secret CIA prisons. Next category. Other reliable witnesses held on Guantanamo throughout their detention include Yasim Basara Bas, Basar Da ISN 252, a Yemeni known as a notorious liar. As the Washington Post reported in February 2009, he was given preferen prefer preferential treatment in Guantanamo after becoming what some officials regarded as a, a significant informant, although, although there were many reasons to be doubtful. At the po as the Post noted, military Quote, military officials expressed reservations about the credibility of their star witness since 2004, end quote. And in 2006, in an article for the National Journal, Corinne Hegeland described how, after a combatant status review tribunal at which a prisoner had taken exception to information provided by, by Basar Daha, placing him at a training camp before he had even arrived in Afghanistan. His personal representative, a military official assigned instead of a lawyer, investigated Basar Daha's file and found that he had made similar claims against 60 other prisoners in total. In January 2009, in the District Court in Washington, D.C., Judge Richard Leon, an appointee of George W. Bush, excluded Basar Daha's statement while granting the habeas corpus petition of Muhammad el Garani, a Chadan national who was just 14 years old when he was seized in a raid on a mosque in Pakistan. Judge Leon noted that the government had, quote, specifically cautioned against relying on his statements without in independent cor uh, corroboration, end quote. And in other habeas corpus, uh, habeas cases that followed, other judges relied on this precedent, discrediting the star witness still further. Muhammad al Kahatani, ISN 63, a Saudi regarded as the planned, pla planned 20th hijacker for the 9 11 attacks, was subjected to a specific torture program at Guantanamo, approved by Defense Secretary Donald Rumsfeld. This consisted of 20-hour interrogations every day over a period of several months and various other enhanced interrogation techniques, which severely endangered his health. Variations of these techniques then migrated to other prisoners in Guantanamo and to Abu Ghraib. And in January 2009, just before uh, George W. Bush left office, Susan Crawford, a retired judge and a close friend of Dick Cheney, and David Abending, who was appointed to oversee the military commissions at Guantanamo as the conveying authority, told Bob Woodland that she had refused to press charges against Al Kahatani because, as she said, we tortured Kahatani. His statement met the legal definition of torture. As a result, his numerous statements about other prisoners must be regarded as worthless. Abdan al Kahab Bakhani, ISN 493, a Saudi imprisoned by Al Qaeda as a spy who was liberated by U.S. forces from a Taliban jail before being sent inexplicably to Guantanamo along with four other men liberated from the jail in is regarded in the file as a member of al qaeda and trustworthy witness abdan al rahim janko isn 489 
a Syrian Kurd tortured by Al-Qaeda as a spy and then imprisoned by the Taliban along with Abdan al-Kahan Bahdani about is also used as a witness even though he was mentally unstable as his assessment in the June 2008 statement quote detainees on a list of high-risk detainees from a health uh, perspective he has several chronic medical problems he has uh, he has a psych psychiatric history of substance abuse depression borderline personality disorder and prior suicide attempt for which he is followed by behavioral health for treatment end quote these are just some of the most uh, obvious cases by alert readers uh, but alert readers will notice that they are cited repeatedly in what uh, purports to to be the government's evidence and it should as a result be difficult not to conclude that the entire edifice constructed by the government is fundamentally unsound and that what the guantanamo files reveal primarily is that only a few dozen prisoners are genuinely accused of involvement in terrorism the rest these documents reveal on close inspection were either innocent men and boys seized by mistake or Taliban foot soldiers unconnected to terrorism moreover many of these prisoners were actually sold to US forces who were offering bounty payments for al-Qaeda and Taliban suspects by then Afghan and Pakistani allies a policy that led ex-president Musharraf to state in his 2006 memoir in the line of fire that in return of in return for handing over 369 terrorist subjects to the US the Pakistani government quote earned bounty payments totaling millions of dollars end quote uncomfortable facts like these are not revealed in the deliberations of the joint task force but they are crucial to understanding why what can appear to be collusion or documents confirming the government's scaremongering rhetoric about Guantanamo the same rhetoric that has paralyzed President Obama and revived the politics of fear in Congress is actually the opposite the anatomy of a co colossal crime perpetrated by the US government on 779 prisoners who for the most part are not and never have been the terrorists the government would like us to believe they are Andy Worthington wrote the above content next section how to read wikileaks guantanamo files the nearly 800 documents in wikileaks latest release of classified u.s documents or memoranda from joint task force guantanamo jft gitmo the combined force is in charge of the u.s war on terror prisoner at guantanamo cuba the u.s southern command in miami florida regarding the disposition of the prisoners written between 2002 and 2008 the memoranda were all marked as secret and their subject was whether to continue holding a prisoner or whether to recommend his release described as his transfer to the custody of his own government or that of other governments they were obviously not conclusive in of themselves as final decisions about the disp disposition of prisoners were taken at a higher level but they are very significant as they represent not only the opinion of JFT Gitmo but also the criminal uh, investigation task task force created by the Department of Defense to conduct interrogation on the war on terror and the BSCT's behavioral science team consisting of psychologists who have a major say in the exploitation of the prisoners in interrogation under the heading JFT Gitmo detainee assessment the memos generally contain nine sections describing the prisoners as follows although the earlier examples specific especially those dealing with prisoners released or recommended for release between 2008 and 2009 may have less detailed analysis than the following one prisoner information 
Each prisoner is identified by name, by aliases, which the U.S. claims to have identified, by place, uh, place and date of birth, by citizenship, and by intern, internment serial number ISN. These long lists of numbers and letters, example, US 9YM 00027DP, are used to identify the prisoners in Guantanamo, helping to dehumanize them as intended by doing away with their names. The most significant section is the number towards the end, which is generally shortened, so the example above would be known as ISN 027. In the files, the prisoners are identified by nationality, with 47 countries in total listed alphabetically from A to Z, from Afghanistan to from uh, from A Z for Afghanistan and Y M for Yemen. Two, health. This section describes whether or not the prisoners in question has a mental health issues and or physical health issues. Many are judged to be in good health. But there are some shocking examples of prisoners with severe mental and or physical problems. 3. JFT Gitmo Assessment A. Under recommendations, the task force explains whether a prisoner should continue to be held or should be released. B. Under ex ex uh, cutive sum executive summary, the task force briefly explains its reasoning and in more recent cases, also explains whether the prisoner is a low, medium, or high risk as a threat to the U.S. and its allies and as a threat in detention, i.e. based on their behavior in Guantanamo, and also whether they are regarded as a low, medium, or high intelligence value. C. Under summary of charges, the task force explains whether there, th there has been any change in information provided since the last appraisal. Generally, the prisoners are appraised on an annual basis. Four, detainees account of events. Based on the prisoner's own testimony, this section puts together an account of their history and how they came to be seized in Afghanistan, Pakistan, or elsewhere, based on their own words. Five, capture information. This section explains how and where the prisoners were seized and is followed by a description of the prisoners at the time of capture, the date of their transfer to Guantanamo, and super superiorly reasons for the transfer to JFT Gitmo, which lists alleged reasons for the prisoners' transfer, such as knowledge of certain topics for exploitation through interrogation. The reason that this is unconvincing is because, as former interrogator Chris McKay, a pseudoname, explained in his book, The Interrogate Interrogators, the U.S. High Command, based in Camp Do Doha, Kuwait, stipulated that every prisoner who ended up in U.S. custody had been transferred to Guantanamo, and there were no exceptions. In other words, the reasons for transfer were grafted on afterward as an attempt to justify the largely random rounding of, of prisoners. 6. Evaluation of detainees' account. In this section, the task force analyzes whether or not they find the prisoners' accounts convincing. 7. Detainee threat. This section is the most significant from the point of view of supposed intelligence used to justify the detention of the prisoners. After assessment, which reiterates the conclusion at 3b, the main section, reasons for continued detention, may at first glance look convincing, but it must be stressed that most, for the most part, it consists of little more than unreliable statements made by the prisoner's fellow prisoners, either in Guantanamo or in secret prisons run by CIA, whether torture and other forms of coercion were widespread or through more subtle means in Guantanamo, whether compli compliant prisoners who were prepared to make statements about their fellow prisoners were rewarded with better treatment. Some examples are available on the home homepage for the release of these documents at http 
colon backslash backslash wikileaks.ch backslash gitmo backslash with this in mind it should be noted that there are good reasons why obama administration officials in the in interns internagency guantanamo review task force established by the president to review the cases of the 241 prisoners still held in guantanamo when he took office concluded that only 36 could be prosecuted the final part of the section detainee conduct analysis in detail however the prisoners have behaved during their imprisonment with exact figures cited for example of disciplinary infractions eight detainee intelligence value assessment after re reiterating the intelligence assessment at 3b and recapping on the prisoners alleged status this section primarily assesses which areas of intelligence remain to be exploited asking for the task force nine ec status the final section notes whether or not the prisoners in question is still regarded as an enemy combatant based on the findings of the com combatant status review tribunal held in 2004 2005 to ascertain whether on capture the prisoner had been correctly labeled as enemy combatant out of 558 cases just 38 prisoners were assessed as being no longer enemy combatant combatants and in some cases when the result went in the prisoner's favor the military conven convened new panels until it got the desired result back to the chat i hope that was coherent guys i was trying to pronounce everything appropriately what are you reading uh assange for what are you crediting assange for this is wikileaks right welcome back glad you are okay olive did you disappear where'd you go oh i missed a whole bunch of chat people were talking to each other <laughs> no <laughs> the more the more thank you for the gifting to all of uh, cyanide appreciate it okay i missed a whole bunch of chat oh, I'll, I'll catch up from the dante chat or if there might be stuff being posted down below nice awesome <laughs> thanks cyanide hey probably right back I think that one of the dangers of this is that it can distract from similar or worse acts on a far larger scale no oh, let me stop this actually oops i locked this up that way we got the recording hopefully the sound came out okay with it let me put this up here and just lock it ends it uh distracted from a similar or worse acts on a far larger scale that have less uh, international scrutiny in part because of uh, of uh, less leaks from some countries yeah yeah let me put this on this page that way we know what we're talking about now let me kick down the brightness here it's blinding uh, that's very true that is why i'm hoping that assange can be freed and legal action be taken against the u.s government if we can do that uh, then we can go after every corrupt situation in the world that's why this is so pivotal oh, very much so julian is a puppet nothing more than another front man uh the more 76 you have no idea what you're talking about if you think that uh if you think that you need to go here on the playlist that we put together for uh wikileaks and julian assange and i would recommend you starting off with either having a read through vault seven year zero cia hacking two was revealed or if you wanted whispered to you because you wanted to be gentle i put out a video reading that in whisper format the TV 
is okay. off. I didn't do Whisper in this reading. We did so, sort of soft spoken. I don't know if it was soft spoken, but soft as I can get right now. Okay. Important, right? Uh, the CIA operatives, the deep state would never want this released. And we've talked about Julian Assange in like one, two, three, four, five, six other streams documenting what has transpired so far. You need to educate yourself instead of being a tool for whoever it is that you're a tool for. Okay. I mean, he is like Alice Jones, another tool to control the. No, he is definitely not like Alice Jones. Are you kidding me? If you're going to lie, you're going to have many layers that no think of it as a conspiracy control mechanism dude you need to look at the video we put out in our playlist regarding conspiracy theory facts okay and really appreciate uh, where you might be and you should get pissed off as soon as you figure out where you've been right and where you are so do you support assange or do you think he is a uh, conspiracy theorists i don't quite understand your point he has no point assange is a cia front he is definitely not a cia front this q how's it going you are obviously either a troll or fallen into the victim of u.s propaganda agree to agree cyanide with you you should go and watch chicho's series on julian assange and the things he has done for us and the things the u.s is going doing to him and you will change your mind i hope he does cyanide i hope he does okay i think that assange is not entirely innocent but he is not a tool of a u.s agency yeah this is we're not uh, for me post-apocalypse i'm pretty sure assange I, you know what i don't know who assange is i don't know him in person some people say he's a nice guy some people say he's not some people say he's hard to work with i don't care for me what is crucial is right now our societies are in the process of crucifying someone that has revealed war crimes from the government crimes against humanity from certain institutions and organizations revealing torture revealing what corporations have been doing to our environment corrupting our governments murders assassinations that is what julian assange has revealed i don't care if he's an a-hole or not what he has done speaks for itself okay that makes no sense he has gone uh through weekly links for years u.s propaganda they say he is in oh god <laughs> a terrorist. Please give it. i don't think he is a terrorist that is what the propaganda machine says um, please give me an example of how uh what he has done has had a negative impact on the u.s besides bruising their enormous ego i agree that uh, i think it is a blurry line but i do not think we should be handling it like this no all that i'm back all that welcome back the bus stopped and allowed us to eat nice and one just does not say nay to nutrition and pee breaks when traveling across the country in the middle of norwegian november night oh my god all that. what an experience oh there must be like you must have seen stars or something maybe you're going through stopping in little rest areas hopefully anyway where are you uh crediting assange for i don't know welcome back yeah, da, 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 da. thanks man glad to be back what does the star in front of my name <laughs> you didn't <laughs> see gifted you a sub yes you read as well i gifted you a sub nice oh my god nice this is too much i think i don't really know what it means it just means you have a higher status on the stream it helps chicho out it does indeed thank you very much doesn't really change uh your side much no i thought one had to pay to subscribe yeah i think all of uh cyanide covered that for you okay looking at poor treatment of a few hundred prisoners in u.s custody we may react with shock but then what about the millions in Chinese custody that have received poor treatment? Yeah, and post-apocalypse, it's actually not a few hundred in U.S. custody, in U.S. prisons. Uh, it's, um, you know, what is it? 5% uh, 5 5 of uh, the U.S. population is in jail or on parole. Like, that's a lot of millions of people, right? 
that's a tremendous number of people. We're talking to ten, tens of millions, and we're just talking about that's the adults. You want to know about the U.S. prison system? How? I'll give you one example here. Uh, kids for cash. Kids for cash, right? Kids for cash. Kids for cash scandal. This is Wikipedia. I don't recommend you just read this. But this is basically two judges that sold kids at five thousand dollars a pop to a private prison institution okay so they had a deal with the private prison corp corporation that's on wall street i believe it's on wall street private prison right with the people running that that these two judges would get five thousand dollars a head if they sent kids to prison okay so just to let you know it's not just a few hundred people in u.s custody it's hundreds of thousands and millions right uh, once you subscribe like I, I I did you can give subs to other people and they don't have to pay so I gifted you one that's okay Wow thank you brother appreciate it no problem Eduardo uh, there was no declaration of war by Congress it was and is not a war I blocked them on my end I don't want to deal with them anymore no it's just it's, I, I recommend uh, the more I recommend you educating yourself you don't want to become a just a tool of the elite of the powers that be you become cannon fodder right if you're propagating BS right at some point you will become cannon fodder you will lose yourself in that black hole there has been a, a lot of attention given to the mass mess at Gitmo and rightly so but very little given to the mess in China on a vastly large scale post apocalypse I agree with you China I would not want to be there but for us right now I doubt it if there's anyone watching this live on Twitch from China right for for me what I care about is taking responsibility for what I do what our governments do not what other governments are doing that I, we have no control over if we are committing war crimes we have no right to look into the war crimes of nations across the ocean right we can talk about it if you want but it should just be a passing right because we're committing war crimes so as soon as that happens we go oh, war crimes are bad oh wow we're committing war crimes okay let's deal with our own shit first before we try to throw shit anywhere else right no st oh it's snowing Brr, cold yeah reported 30 million in u.s prisons latest incarceration rate of any country largest incarceration of any country yeah all of it is equally horrible but you must only solve one problem at a time it doesn't belittle the other problems but we can only do so uh, much at a time much at once yeah i'm aware of that scandal but that is not related to gitmo no it's not but gitmo was not the only one post-apocalypse gitmo was the torture prison that we knew about and the reason we know about it is because it's on a land of cuba it's on cuba and cuba doesn't want that prison there right like literally they don't want the u.s military base there but the u.s just won't leave it's like a cancer right that they can't just cut off right they can't they can't get rid of it right so we know about gitmo what's taking place at gitmo in a large way thanks to manning as well as it being situated on someone else's country that doesn't want it there gitmo was only one of these sites where they tortured people there were a lot of secret prisons where they tortured people abu Gharib in iraq was one of them where the leaks the pictures came out and i believe it was wikileaks that released the, those pictures what was taking on in abu Ghraib with the torture with feces and the chains with a guy like this gitmo was not just one okay it's not just here it's everywhere okay just so you know just so you know could the cuban military take up arm no 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 sign out absolutely not no one can take up arms against the united states military the only people that can do that is that have done that successfully i don't want to say do that because i'm not into violence but that have done that successfully 
are people who are being occupied by the US military Afghanistan Iraq Syria right so American soldiers are cannon father in those countries they, you don't want to go there right who Julian Assange is who he worked for his motives and intentions are all opinion we do not know that man we know what he, we know what he has done there's a saying that says don't judge a man by what they say but what they do like if you think like there's people actually think Obama was a nice guy right because they listen to his nice pretty fluffy words right that really didn't make sense right if you look at what he did he was a war criminal right forget about Julian Assange if he's polite or not look at what he's revealed to us Right. Chicho, WikiLeaks may have uh, spread the info, but WikiLeaks didn't get any information for themselves. No, it's a leak site, right? But it's like any journalistic entity. People leak information to journalists, and journalists publish that information, right? So it's a news outlet, but it's also a platform where people can leak information, right? Provide us crucial knowledge about our current history anonymously right very important very important oh like oh man i missed the whole reading oh did you all for a hot dog wrapped in bacon so no, so maybe it was worth it sounds delicious olive i'm getting hungry myself by the way olive i recorded it on a lapel mic and it's gonna be uh, i'll see what i can get it up right uh, but i'll have it up on bit shoot and youtube in the recorded version hopefully it came out okay okay and definitely this live stream will be up on bit shoot and youtube as well okay vietnam did a great job resisting as well viet indeed indeed many like i'm just saying recent since like last 15 years right 15 20 years really right but korea vietnam uh, they go to Africa, like Africa is just the mess. Look at anyway, other places have as well. South America to a certain degree. South America is still going on though. Uh, fair. I was just curious because it is cut off from the rest of the U.S. Uh, army and out there in Cuba. But thank you for the insight. Yeah, absolutely not. That would be suicide. Uh, I'm a member of the uh, of Anonymous, and I'm on the ground in Chile. There are torture centers opening here right now. Yeah, uh, Splatzoki, and those are um, the ghost of General Penichey is back. It's, it, I wouldn't, the ghost of General Penichey for sure, but the School of Americas is back, right? Those people that are dis being disappeared in Chile that are going into these torture centers that basically the interrogation torture methods that were used in Guantanamo those methods were being trained in the school of the americas which is stationed in mainland usa that has been training death squads in south and central america for a number of decades right great i didn't find you on bitchute uh or whether that is, it's called this <laughs> that's a cute way of spelling it bitchute let me find the find it for you okay get you the link um, here my channel profile channel chicho i guess this is it here you go brother that's my bit shoot account and by the way uh for this thing the gitmo files all of this stuff is here right articles written about this there's a lot of other information here you could spend years just researching this and reporting on it right by name by country our partners communicators and, and whatnot right by name by s isn number so you could read up on people follow it up like it's huge it's gigantic right? we just read the intro to it really Wait, where am I? Where am I? Great. Yeah, da, da, da. Uh, there, there. Even if we were 
uh, to assume that all rumored black sites under U.S. control or influence exist, it would still involve one-tenth as many imprisoned people under questionable conditions as there are in China. Uh, I think it is more imperative to focus on the larger problem while acknowledging there are others. Postacop, I agree with you. However, you can't just take China, what China is doing to hundreds of thousands of prisoners in mainland China. Let's say it's millions, right? Because you also have to consider what the United States has done in their foreign policy. They've been responsible for over a million deaths, millions of casualties, tens of millions of people being displaced by what U.S. foreign policy has done in Afghanistan, Syria, Iraq, Yemen, Libya, Congo, Somalia, Sudan, Honduras, Chile, Venezuela, Ecuador. This goes on and on and on and on, right? They trained the death squads and those people who commit torture in the school of the Americas and sent them all over the world. So are they responsible for it? We have to look at the mathematics. Maybe post-apocalypse one day we'll sit down and do a whole mathematics version of this, right? We need it. Most of the protesters are high school kids. 16, yeah. It's a slaughter. They are literally targeting eyes. Yeah, I saw that as well. Over 100 people have eyes injured or lost in about two weeks time crazy this is all about chile by the way if i wasn't a teen myself i would be there to help i am going to help with the protests in england though the number is close to 150 well wow. this is part of the problem i have with wikileaks and assange that amplifying attention on certain problems distracts from uh, some larger problems post-apocalypse as far as i know What's happening to WikiLeaks and Julian Assange? They've revealed some of the biggest problems we have in our societies. The WikiLeaks, the torture files here, the Gitmo files, finally made it obvious to citizens of the United States shine a light on the torture program of the United States. Before WikiLeaks released this stuff, I would talk to people and people would say, US will never torture. They kept on saying that. Now people at least understand. It's a total change in perception of how the world works. That is extremely important. I don't know, maybe you call everyone brother, but by now I feel obligated to inform you that I am of a female. Oh, Alice, how are you doing, sister? <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for clarifying. I'll try to remember. And if I, I usually I say brother or sister, right? Usually say brother or sister. But, uh, I just, for some reason, because you've been around for so long, I've been saying brother for so long, I just kept on saying brother, sister. I'm going to try to remember, okay? I hope that's okay if I do. Uh, or I could just stick with Olive. Um, I, for me, I, I don't know, for some reason, I took on the word brother a few years ago and it stuck with me. There's two words I took on, brother and peace. I never used to end with peace when I wrote letters to people or comments. And then all of a sudden, just someone was using it on me, and it just grew. Which I liked it, so I started saying sister. And brother is the same thing. Uh, so I started calling sister, so I'm going to start calling sister. Or olive. I would hate one because of the other. I understand your point, and I hope we help these people soon. But I agree that Assange has not been treated properly by legal systems of several governments. I see you do a lot of math too Thimor, yeah what are your thoughts on the earth curvature calculation i haven't done it personally myself but I, I i don't believe we're this depending on your perspective you have to appreciate the perspective as well right right now when we're standing here it's this if you move up a little bit you get a little bit of this if you move up boop, you get this right but we've been streaming but we can talk about that stuff in current events and news and other discussions rather this stream was about WikiLeaks and Julian Assange. We got our recording. We're going to load this up on BitChute YouTube uh, in the next few days, this week anyway. Um, and we're going to continue this. How do you know uh, without doing the math? Uh, I, I, my study geophysics, brother. <laughs> you're, you're talking to the wrong guy regarding this. I, I, I have my honors degree in geophysics and mathematics. That means I studied the earth, right? 
and I have taken certain types of measurements myself, uh, size mix as well, right? The mathematics doesn't lie. I've done the mathematics on a small scale and on a large scale, and it's straight up. And if you want to know, you know, I'm not talking BS here. Chicho Geophysics. Right? Here's a video where I'm talking about my life as a geophysicist. <laughs> my life as a geophysicist while I got my minor in mathematics. Okay. It's called talking about geophysics and pre preparing to make elderberry liqueur ASMR my life as a geophysicist. Okay. So let me send you the link. Here's the link in the chat. Right. Doop. I've done the calculations. I'm just not going to get into it right now because it doesn't matter. It does to a certain degree, but it does. Like, okay, let me rephrase. Yes, there are possibilities, but right now it's better to break break the third eye open of people regarding our pol current political economic system. There are problems associated with certain things. However, it's better to open the eyes, focus on the prize, man. It's about economics right now. You want freedom? Figure out the economics part of it. Nice, Olive. Thank you. No problem, brother, she says. Then the calculations of the curvature should be simple for you. Dude, yeah, check out the video. I had a great life as a geophysicist. It was phenomenal. Right? I've witnessed in Labrador laying on an icebreaker in the middle of, well, not middle of, but in fall when the black flies aren't out that bad, right? In the middle of an icebreaker on a clear, full clear night sky with a full lunar eclipse occurring and spiral borealis smoking a big fat cuban stogie right the only downside was it was a dry camp so no liqueur okay you want to open your eyes go into geophysics brother you will be amazed you will be amazed okay it was spectacular it was spectacular and you know one aspect of the spectacular part of it was we were on the icebreaker for I can't remember how many weeks we would get up at I would get up I was in charge of the crew there was only three of us right uh, but I was corresponding with the main office and stuff like this right I would get up at 4 a.m. in the morning our helicopter would be leaving the pad. We were getting picked up, picked up by helicopter. Our helicopter time, pickup time was 5 o'clock, 5.30 a.m., 5 o'clock, 5.30 a.m., right? We give different times usually, but we were usually anywhere between 5 and 5.30 a.m. You're ready on deck to be picked up with a helicopter. Helicopter comes in. It's already dropping people off. Helicopters fly as soon as there's light out, right? So... Whistle blows, we get on there, load up our equipment, get somewhere, dropped off in terrain. Sometimes the helicopter's hovering, we're throwing our equipment off and lay down on the ground. And then we get picked up when it's getting dark, right? I would go process data. So I would get up at 4 o'clock in the morning. I'd be sleeping at 2 a.m. So I'm getting two hours of sleep for two weeks, two weeks, three weeks, or something like this. Two, three, four hours of sleep a night, right? You're, you're functioning on pure adrenaline it's phenomenal have you seen that you can send letters so yeah cyanide from I, I was going to but from what I understand international letters they don't process them or something I don't think I don't know if they're processing international letters Chicho when do you open your third eye regarding politics I, it opened early Eduardo it opened early it, it opened during during high school that was the beginning of it that was the beginning of it because I came here I, I could see early on because I was from one of the demonized countries what they were talking about f that people were like from that region and what was happening compared to what the mainstream media was saying and I was like what right but the main aspect of it was really towards the end of the 1990s beginning of the 2000s there's been phases it's not one it's not you know what it's not this you go through this where your eyes open and you lose track of things a little bit and you come back again right but right now i've reached a point where i can never go back 
what you learn you cannot unlearn on this level okay entheogens had a lot to do with it as well okay. economics huge economics huge okay gang let's call the stream thank you for being here okay very much appreciate it uh, I hope you found the information useful useful okay um, I'll try to see when I can get the reading up uh, and we're gonna continue these we're gonna do a minimum one of these a month maybe every two weeks maybe every week who knows right maybe as frequent as the math streams that we're gonna do okay uh, cyanide thank you very much for the sub thank you for gifting us up to all of i think all of uh, she's really appreciating it and i hope all of you have a fantastic rest of a bus ride uh, on your journey uh, i guess evening journey on a snowy night in norway i believe you said okay aside from that if you can make it i'll see you guys tomorrow during our math stream that we're going to start i believe at uh, through 1 p.m we're starting our math stream at 1 p.m tomorrow 1 to 3 p.m tomorrow and then relationships we're going to talk about on wednesday okay thanks everyone i hope you have a fantastic fantastic evening